Hey everybody, it's Lisa Solomon, author of A Field Guide to Color, and I'm here to shoot a video to show you the difference between tube watercolor paints and pan watercolor paints. The first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to lay out tube paints into a palette so that you can take them around and travel with them. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to make some tints. I was asked a little while back um, if it was easier to make tints with two paints rather than pans, and I just kind of want to show you how to do that. And a tint is a paint color that is mixed with white so that it becomes lighter than the original hue. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to first show you how to place your tube paints, um, these beautiful koi tubes, into a plastic watercolor palette. I'm going to speed that up for you. Um, you're just going to take any kind of watercolor palette. This is a cool, inexpensive plastic one, and I'm going to lay the two paints into these little wells. Um, and then you let it dry overnight or maybe a little bit longer, and then you can take this on the go with you. All right, here we go. I tend to put the tubes into my palette in the same order that they came in the box. Um, it just makes it easier for me to remember, uh, but you can go ahead and put them in any order that you want. I know some people like to do warm colors together and cool colors together. It's really up to you. So you're gonna let this dry overnight. Um, I recommend not filling them too much because if you do, then when you close the palette, um, the colors might stick together. I recommend leaving it open while it dries. This one I've had drying for a couple of days and you'll see that everything's kind of nice and caked. Sometimes they crack when they dry and so then I just spray a little water in there and re-wet them and let them sort of hang out and re-congeal. Um, but I also often make a little card that tells me what colors are in the set and the names of the colors and I just keep it in the palette so that I'm all set and ready to go. When you're first learning about colors and painting, you might want to know what a tint is. And a tint is when you add a little bit of your color to white um, in order to change sort of the tone of the hue or the color that you're working with. So for example, I will put some white into this palette and I'll add a tiny bit of orange and I'll mix it into the white until I get a nice tint. You always want to add the color into the white, not the white to the color, because otherwise you'll be using a lot, a lot of white. So here's a tint of that orange, and then I'll paint it at full strength underneath so you can see what it looks like. Here's the orange at full strength. And obviously you can make stronger or weaker tints depending on what you're painting or what you want to do. A lot of color wheels have you make tints. And when you use a color wheel, it's often a great idea to try and do the tints in the same ratio so that you can really learn about what happens when you add the same amount of white to all the different colors in your palette. And someone asked me once if it was easier to do this with tube paint than it is to do with a palette. And in some ways, yes, that's true, because with tube paint, you can put out little dollops of white that are about the same size and you can create your tints by adding color to that white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to show you. So let's just work our way down this row of paints. This is a purple. I think I may have put a little too much on my brush, so I'm gonna wipe some of it off. And I'm gonna add it to that white. And I'm gonna dab a little more purple in there until I get a nice tint. So even these little dollops of white are pretty big. I'm making a lot of paint here, but that's okay. So we have this really pretty lavender and I'll go ahead and paint that out. And then in the next dollop, I'm gonna use, I think that's the indigo. Make sure you clean your brush really well. So yeah, that's an indigo color, and I'm gonna add about the same amount of indigo to that white as I did the purple to make this really pretty light blue. Let's 
see what that looks like. I'm gonna clean my brush really well. We'll go down the line. It's kind of an olive green, so I'm gonna put about the same amount of olive green and add it to that dollop of white. And you'll notice the olive green is just a lighter color and so the tint is a little lighter. So I might add just a little bit more of the olive in there. And I feel like that last dollop of paint is a little bit bigger. So when I get to that, I might add a little bit more of my hue. Oh, that last color in that last row is black, so let's just go to that kind of magenta color. Next to the purple. Okay, my brush is clean, so I'm gonna grab some of this magenta. I'm gonna grab a little bit more than I did the other guys because this last dollop of white is a little bit bigger. Okay, and here's that last tint. So the question is, is it easier or harder to make the tints with the paints from the tube or with the palette? So I'm gonna go ahead and try and do the same four colors, just using the white that's in the palette in the travel set over here. So in this case, I'm gonna make little dollops again, and I'm just gonna put them in the palette, set myself up, I'm going to try and make them about the same size. So I'm going to do that first so that the white stays clean. Okay, those look about the same size to me. I'm going to need less of each hue because those dollops of white are smaller than the ones that I pulled from the tube. Okay, so we're starting with the purple. Let's do one, two, three little stabs and I'll wipe it off. So you'll see, because that has less white, this tint is gonna be a little darker, but that's okay. Clean my brush. One, two, three stabs of indigo into the white. Just for fun in these last two, I'm just gonna do two dabs. So let's do, I'm gonna clean this off first because it has a lot of white on it. So I'm cleaning off the olive. Okay. We'll do one, two. And I did that magenta, so let's do one, two. There we go. So you can see for yourself the difference between the tube white and the palette white. The tube white is usually a little bit thicker um, a little more similar to gouache maybe than the palette, a little less transparent, although I could make it more transparent simply by adding water. So I could just take some water and spread this out and you'll see it kind of reconstitutes. And I can spread the other one out too because it's watercolor, it's so magical. So there you have it, a quick and easy way to make yourself a little palette out of your tube paints and two different ways to make tints with your white out of a palette and out of a tube. Hope that was helpful and you guys have a great day.